Welcome back everyone and we're going to look at cheapish travel tripods. This was not the cheapest by any stretch of the imagination but it's one that I thought looked the best um, especially from reviews and everything else which was a little bit more expensive and I figured it was worth paying the extra. So let's have a little look at this. So this is Roly. Rolly? Roly? Rolly. I think we'll go with Rolly. I'm bound to be wrong. And I went for the funky orange one as well. So it comes in a little bag. Great. Nice little shoulder bag. I probably wouldn't use the bag, I've got to be honest. That's just going to go on to... Is there something in there? Ah, little super dry pad. Hmm. It's just going to go onto my bag, it's so light. I'll put the specs up on the screen so you can see for yourself. Folds away, so compact. It's, that's lovely and it's nice and light. I think it's about one and a half pounds. Now this is carbon fiber, went for the one a little bit extra. So what's so special about this then? Well, quite often you need a little travel tripod because I've got this for the ZFC camera um, to take away. I am not looking for a mega heavy tripod. I don't need it. I'm not looking for this for a full frame DSLR. Uh, we want something easy, convenient. I've got to that age, I just don't want to take everything everywhere anymore. So what have we got in the bag? We've got some spare rubber feet. I'm bound to lose them by the looks of it. We've got two types of Allen keys. One's a star, one's a normal. And we've got this thing which I believe is a little mobile phone adapter. So you can put your mobile phone into there and you can screw that onto the head there. It's got a little screw mount. I personally don't think I'd use that on this tripod. Um, nice that's in there. Some people might. It's not really for me. Yeah, I suppose you could use it for recording behind the scenes or something. So folds out. We've got various notches on the feet. Straight out of the box, nice and sturdy, but not too much. Obviously we've got the Allen key to be able to alter that. And then we've got the head and it's got a double head there. So I think it goes to about 142 centimeters in height. Thing I like about this is all three, or all four of those, you can undo almost with one swift hand and extend it out, and that's quite nice. And lock it down as well, then. The feet pop off and you've got spikes. So it's quite nice having the spikes onto there, which is great. I think I would probably use the spikes more than anything else when out and about. This particular one's got a little lock either way because you can, I believe. That one is a monopod. So it pops off, you take the top off the there, drop it on, and you're good to go as a monopod. Not something I'm really going to use on this, I don't think, in all fairness, but it's nice to have that option. It's got a little hook on the bottom so that we can drop our bag on because it is, this is light. Um, feels fairly sturdy, but it's light. And then the head, we've got an arca plate onto there. Um, Nice little safety bit on the plate that's included, which is good. Nice little pan and tilt header into there as well. And that's it really. It's just really light, really simple. So I'm gonna go and try this now, take it out in the real world and see how it withstands life. Um, I think it should be good. At least it's got a serial number printed on the side, which is quite unusual. So they're obviously taking their tripods very seriously. I like the colour. This isn't the only colour. They've got blue, they've got red, they've got silver and black. Um, so there's a good little mix there. I just quite like this. It stood out a little bit. Our company colours as well, which is nice. Um, yeah, be interesting to see how this holds up. And if it was worth the extra money, that little bit of lightness as well. See you in a while.
Right everyone, I've been out, I've tested this, I've took it out into the field and tried it. Um, and uh, I'm amazed, I've got to be honest. I didn't think I was going to like this as much as I did. And the reason I didn't is one, the height comes up to about there on me. I'm 6'2", that's quite high, that's good enough for me. I actually prefer taking my shots lower down. Remember the old style cameras where you used to look down at the viewfinder? I like that composure, it's great. Um, the other thing that I didn't think I was gonna like is that it is so light. Obviously it's a real plus point as a travel. But obviously we've got the hook, we just put the bag on the bottom, it's not a big deal. Um, and stability then becomes really great. Obviously when this is raised high, it's, yeah, you're gonna get it on the wind and stuff, but you can't have everything all in one tripod. Well, not at this price anyway. Um, so the lightness is a real winner. The compactness, the way I can fold this up and just take it everywhere with me is amazing. Love it. The other thing that I thought might have been an issue was this uh, ball head. It's got a nice bit of resistance in there as well, so it doesn't just drop when the camera's on it, which is nice. I love that feature. Um, they've done well with that. I don't know if I can tighten that or do anything with that in the future. I haven't looked. I don't care at this point. It's working fine. Um, yeah, beautiful. Love the colour as well, funny enough. Um, would I have bought this if it was non-special at Prime? Um, as a gamble, no, I wouldn't. I've got to be honest, I wouldn't have paid for this at that price. Now I've got it, yes, I would pay for that. So you make your own mind up. I think it's fantastic. I think it's worth it. Well done, Roly. Roly I? I don't know, Roly. I still can't pronounce it. I'm sure someone will correct me. Um, yeah, there's going to be another tripod out in the next one that I've done a lot, lot cheaper than this. Um, so you can see what you think of that. Um, spoiler alert, this is staying with me. This is the one that's going to stay on my bag and go everywhere. Comment down below if there's some tripods you want us to look at. Uh, I might start looking at a few different ones and having a look. Um, from cheap to expensive as well, we might get them in. There's a few we always need in the studio. Subscribe, like, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you, it does help the channel. Um, nice to have you on board as well. I'll see you on the next one. Yeah.